Greetings and salutations, my most excellent friends. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Well, today's vlog is going to be answering a viewer question or subscriber question because on the last walk and talk through Guangzhou, <clears throat> excuse me, Guangzhou Market, a couple people asked how I felt about being stared at and if I ever felt uncomfortable or um, just self-conscious about filming in public whether it be just normal vlogging or as a tall, bald foreigner here in Korea. And I thought that, I thought that was a great question, and I'm going to answer it, honestly. And the real answer to that is no, it doesn't bother me. I don't really think about it at all. And I think the reason why is because I've been doing videos for so long. So I first started uploading videos to YouTube back in 2007. Uh, it was just with my MacBook Pro sitting in my coffee table. Christopher Mass can attest to that. You got the ceiling in the background, uh, sometimes in my office at my old house. But shortly thereafter, I started taking cameras outdoors and traveling and, and doing videos in that manner. And back in 2007, you really didn't have a large number of people making videos in that manner. You know, people, people were vlogging, but not necessarily going out of their house all that often. So when you were out and about, people would stare at you and think that you're crazy. So when I came to Korea, again, people weren't really making videos and people would stare, uh, partly because of the size that I am in relation to many other people here, and because of the small form population here in Korea, roughly about 2% as it stands right now. So when I go out now and I take my GoPro or another camera and hold it out in front of me and film, I've been doing it for so long, it just doesn't register. I start a video and I just go about my business as if it was completely normal. Now I will say that times have occurred in the past where maybe I have been filming by myself and I have a tripod and I have all the mics set up and the dead cats and whatnot. And people will come up and ask me questions about what I'm doing, who I am, am I working with a television production company? And those are great conversations to have. I actually really enjoy having those because I get to explain a little bit about what I do, why I do it, and of course where you can see the finished product because a lot of them are very interested to see what a foreigner thinks of Korea. And the response has been really, really positive. So to answer the question, does it bother me? Do I feel self-conscious? Again, no. It's, it's just, at this point, it's just habit. It's just something that I feel so comfortable doing that I will whip out my camera anywhere and start filming. Uh, I, I try to do it as, um, what do I want to say? I try to do it in a way that doesn't intrude on other people's space. So if I'm filming in a location, I try not to get in other people's way so that they can experience the environment as much as I am so that my filming doesn't intrude on, on their personal space and their personal experience with it as well. So I try to always be cognizant of, of that. So that, that again, is a fantastic question. Um, thank you so much for leaving those comments on the Walk and Talk video. And of course, if you have any questions that you would like to ask me, you can send those to me, questions at chiranger.com, or leave them down in the comments. But that is all for me on this Friday. Tomorrow's video well, should be a little bit interesting, a little teaser there. So, um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.